Hi and welcome. Today we'll be looking from one of um, from one of several series we'll be having on procurement or purchasing in SAP Business One, and under purchasing we'll be starting with the purchasing blanket agreement. So just right before we sign and then log in into the system, let's talk briefly and then know what a blanket agreement is. A blanket agreement is an agreement between you and your vendor for a specific period of time. So with respect to procurement or purchasing, we'll be looking at how a purchasing organization has an agreement with a vendor and with a vendor for the supply of services or items over a period of time based off of a predefined terms and condition. So it's worth noting that they can also be used as a basis for expected revenue forecast and capacity planning. So for better context, let's take an imaginary picture where company A has a business agreement with a vendor and company A is committed to purchasing large quantities of a certain number of goods over a certain period of time at a certain price. Let's say for instance, company A intends to purchase 1000 units of an item to be delivered in units of 250 over a week for the next one month. So for you to record um, procurement transactions in relation to your business agreement, you create um, a procurement document such as the invoices or the purchase order, order since they are automatically linked to procurement documents by the SAP Business One. This very way, prices that you have agreed upon with the business partner can be copied directly into the sales um, directly into the procurement document but you can also choose to create a pro procurement order or a purchase order that is not bound to your business um, agreement so in other words you can also set or create conditions that can also be set to 1000 units of such items that should be purchased within the duration of 30 days if let's say you purchase 1000 units of that um, 1000 units of that item before the end of 30 days then the price for such item reverts back to the normal price but if you haven't purchased those 1000 units and then the 30 day duration period elapses then the price also reverts back to the normal price so moving forward, we'll log into a system and then commence with um, the step-by-step -step process for how a pro purchasing um, blanket agreement can be created. So we sign in. And then we sign into the system. So just right before we go further, we have to do the configuration for the procurement blanket agreement. So we click on the administration and then when we click on administration, we come to the system initialization. When we click on the system initialization, we come to the general settings. So under general settings, we now come to this tab over here, the business um, partner. So when we come to this very tab, we are now going to click and allow for multiple blanket agreements for same period because by default it is possible for us to trade only with one sales business agreement or for a business partner that is um, tallied within the same period but if let's say we want to trade multiple business agreements for a business partner th th this that will be valid within the same period for SAP business one then we have to activate this so we click on this update and then when we have done that we click on the OK button and then that is that so moving forward we come down here to this module and then click on purchasing when we click on purchasing we now click on the purchasing uh, blanket agreement so usually for the purchasing blanket agreement it comes in a tr for, for purchasing blanket agreement transactional it comes either in the find mode or the add mode but we are not trying to find rather we are trying to add so we do the control A so you notice that it changes from the find down here to an add so we already have our master uh, vendor master data that is the vendor with whom which we are going to be procuring procuring a, um, a particular item from so we click the business code over here and then the vendor with whom which we will be having business agreement which is lasercom so we'll click on lasercom and automatically it fills in other fields like the business partner name the contact person in that um, in that company or with the vendor and then the business partner's currency the telephone number the email 
and then down here for the number of the blanket agreement document numbering it could either be primary which is automatically numbered by the system you can imagine we already have um, a blanket agreement that has been numbered one so this is two or we can manually put in a peculiar name for our blanket agreement let's call this let's call this uh let's call this uh let's say 009 we have given it that numbering so the agreement method is going to be item method and then the start date now the start date is going to be currently today as you can see in our system this very date and then the end date this is going to be let's say a month from now let's give it april and then give it 22nd of april so the start date and the end date are the date until which the release against the blanket agreement starts or end and they cannot be earlier or later than the start or end date of the business agreement so the termination date over here this is the date until when the agreement ceases to be effective that is when we plan to terminate the agreement between the set periods of the start and then the end date well for the signing date for the signing date this is the date when we agreed for this particular contract normally when the period starts that is why we see the dates over here are um, similar so for the description we can give this a uh, name as blanket agreement one or blanket agreement 009 and then down here under the general tab you can see we have two types of um blanket um, agreement we have the general and then we have the um, specific so what is a general agreement the general blanket agreement is used to track fulfillment of terms used to obtain a special bonus at let's say year ends or for example for selling or purchasing a certain um, quantity of an item or for achieving a defined um, turnover and then secondly we have the um, specific blanket agreement which is this so these are usually used to track the fulfillment of terms to obtain a special discount for the individual sales or purchasing transactions they are also used to determine a delivery schedule for example by defining at which interval which quantity of goods should be delivered like the initial scenario which we painted of a thousand units of an item that can be delivered in units of 250 on a weekly basis in one month so we click on this specific we we'll click on this specific the status over here is draft but we change the status down to um, approved so that we have a blanket um, agreement um, activated and then for the owner the owner um, the owner of this blanket agreement is a person that is um, logged into this um, system so let's just give um, the owner of let's just leave um, the owner on a default um, field and then we have the reminder down here the reminder is if we want to receive a reminder with respect to this blanket agreement at a particular date or let's say in 20 days just write let's say 10 days right um, before the blanket agreement um, expires so we come down here to the detail tab so in the detail tab over here we are going to be selecting several appliances or several items which um, which is in agreement with what we want to have with um, our vendor so we click on this and then we have from master data of several items over here and then we click on the jb office print let's pick um, this particular item we add it oops we choose this um, item down here and then for a plant quantity let's do a plant quantity of uh, let's say 100 and then the unit price the unit price for this with respect to what we have in the system for this item is 100 so the agreement price that we want for this item can be let's say 50 units 50 50 uh, 50 50 g the unit price for this can be 50 um gbp with respect to an uh, unit price for each of these item compared to the 100 units that we have down here in the system so if we scroll down to the left we have a field down here we have a field down here sorry i have to expand this so we have a field um, down here that allows us to be able to put in um, text or code with respect to this particular um, with respect to this particular um, item so we can be able to add this blanket agreement down here so we click on this and then we continue so having done that we can close this and then we can come down here to our purchasing 
um, order. So when we come down here to our purchasing order, we click on this vendor down here and then we see um, the vendor with which whom we want to purchase an item from. We click on this and then when we click on that, it fills in other fields also automatically. And then we come down here to the item and then we select the item for which we want to procure from this um, item, from this um, business um, partner. So having done that, you automatically see that it picks um, the unit price. It picks the unit price from the blanket agreement. And then if we scroll down here, if we scroll down here, let's say this is the blanket agreement 9, we choose it. Automatically you see it picks the price for that item. Why it's highlighted blue is because we have um, a blanket agreement with this um, vendor. So if we scroll down, if we do not want to use this particular field over here to pull that blanket agreement for which we have an agreement with this vendor, we can easily copy the blanket agreement using this particular field and then we can be able to pull it inward into this um, field. So we look down here and then we draw all data in and then we click on finish and automatically still it still feels um, the same thing. So I don't know. So this brings us um, to the end of what um, the blanket agreement is in the SAP um, business one. So I want to thank you very much for your time. Um, that is all for me today. So you can easily be able to contact us across uh, various social media platforms and you can also be able to subscribe to our channel and then turn on your post notifications so that you can be able to receive notifications for new um, video developments that we'll be doing moving um, forward. So thank you. And